Let's have this one. All right, let's let, we can try it slowly, OK? Um, let's take a look at your ones place. What is this? One. All right, we have one. How about on your tens place? Seven. Seven. And then on this one? Three hundred. All right, so the number is? 371. 371. Good job. How about this one? By the way, um, that's just a, an easy practice so that you can uh, identify since you're just starting uh, to learn how to read the abacus to locate the center rod first. But it is also a good practice in abacus to always start from your left, all right? So you, you uh, check first the value of your left because when we read the number, we always go from left to right, right? Because we don't read this as one, seven, three. We read it as, how do we read this again? We read it. 371. All right, we read it like that. So the first thing that you have to look at is the hundreds place. 371. All right, but that's fine. If uh, Let's just focus first on uh, how you will be familiar with the, the value, okay? Because in abacus or in mathematics, we have what we call the face value and the place value, which we will be discussed on our next, uh, I mean, after this, okay? But let's try to practice first. All right, how about on this frame? What is the value of this? Uh. So what is this on your hundreds place? 800. 800, and then? 70. 70. 1. All right. 871. Good job. How about this side? Um. Uh, 59. All right. Good job. 59. How about this? Uh, 400. 400. Good job. How about this one? Uh, 800. Mm hmm. And nine. What's on your tens place? Nine. All nine. right. So, all right. Good job. Eight hundred ninety. Nine. Nine. Ninety nine. Good job. How about the next one? Seven hundred and nine nine. Good job. Seven hundred ninety-nine. How about this? Uh, One hundred and one hundred. 51. Good job. How about this? Uh, 100. 
and sixty-one. Good job, one hundred sixty-one. How about this one? Five hundred and ninety-nine. Five hundred ninety-nine. Great job. You're so good at this. How about the next? Ninety-nine. Ninety-nine. Let's have... Oh, we have a couple more. All right, so that you can be more familiar and uh, fast when reading the value. How about this one? Uh, six. Six. Good job. How about the next? Ten. We have ten. Ten. Good job. Next. Five hundred. Five hundred. Good job. How about the next one? Ten. We have. Ten. Is it ten? Fifty. Fifty. There. Good job. Next. Eighty. 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 You're doing great. How about the next? Ninety-four. We have ninety-four. Good. Next. Four hundred and ten. We have four hundred and ten. Good job. Next. Four hundred and and nineteen. Four hundred nineteen. Good. Is it nineteen? No. Uh, fourteen. Fourteen. Good job. All right, last two. Uh. Seven hundred and eleven. Seven hundred eleven. Good job. And the last one. Five hundred and fifty. Five hundred fifty. Wow, good job, RV. Was it easy to identify the value? Yeah. Easy, right? Okay. And great job because uh, it's like it wasn't your first time studying Abacus. You were very fast in getting the value of those beads. So great, great job. All right. Now, just like what I uh, mentioned earlier, um, for us to better understand your numbers and uh the places on the abacus let's talk about this one all right in mathematics we do have what we call the face value and the place value all right so again we have face value and place value all right so when we say face value all right it's the it's how you call a number that you see all right it represents just the number itself let me give you an example we have here what is the number that we have two four 
247. Okay. So the face that for face value, we just have to read it just like how you read it. Two, four, and seven. All right. So if I ask you this, what is the face value of three and three, five, seven? How do we call it? It's just the face value of three and three, five, seven. Oh. All right, let me give you the answer on this one. So since this is just the face value, all right, that we're looking for. So the face value of three is also three. 